Crossfades are a commonly used special effect in a lot of TV shows, including Doctor Who. In the 1970s, they were used for TARDIS dematerialization, regeneration, disintegration rays, teleportation effects, and so on. So fixing a few crossfades can improve a classic story. Here we have Cho Ji vanishing while he's talking to Sarah Jane. There are a few defects, including black bars appearing on the edges, misalignment between the shots, and lighting changes. I've used a variety of software tools to help. GIMP can be used to do sub-pixel shifts. We shift an image 3.5 pixels, scale the image up to twice the size, then shift the image 7 pixels, then halve its size again. GIMP is also useful for fixing the edges. Add an alpha channel to the layer, then select the middle of the scene, feather the selection, and then cut it. This produces an image with only the edges visible. That can be blended over the scene to fix the edges, producing a clean background. Simulating the crossfade from clean background to the televised shot allows us to digitally extract Choji from the rest of the scene. We can then add him back onto the clean background to produce an improved crossfade. The resulting scene keeps the focus on Choji rather than distracting the audience with subtle changes over the entire scene. Here we have the first regeneration shown in colour. Campo and Poche is regenerating into Cho Ji, and this occurs just before the Doctor regenerates from John Pertwee into Tom Baker. GTK Morph was used to morph between the faces. I've shown a screenshot on the left illustrating the user interface where you select corresponding points on the faces. Blender was used to create a fire effect for the regeneration itself. There are online tutorials for creating fire and smoke in Blender. I followed those recipes but turned off the smoke and viewed the flame mostly from the top down. Then I added a little wind effect to push the flames upwards a little. I've also shifted the colour towards yellow to make it a little bit more regeneration-y. I tracked the shape of the face as it distorts by using keyframes in Blender that automatically interpolate between the polygon for one face and the polygon for the resulting face. This makes the particles that generate the fire appear in the right place Otherwise there would be fire emitted from the collar or jacket instead of the face. There's still a lot more that can be done, of course, but that's a topic for another time. Yeah. Campo. I'm afraid this old body has had it, Miss Smith. No! Dear friends, please don't. Please don't. What's happening? Please, don't. Please. Don't concern yourselves. I am not dying, merely regenerating. Choji. No, Tommy, I am Kanpo. <laughs> Will you put this in your magazine, Sarah Jane Smith? <laughs>